Hey guys, I'm talking about another tech tool today that can help us while we're in distance learning mode. The tool I'm going to be talking about today is called Insert Learn, and it's a Chrome extension that fits in with our Chrome web browser. So the way to get started with this one is if you're in Chrome, you would want to go to the Chrome store, which you can find just by Googling the Chrome store, and then you want to go to Chrome web extensions. Right? This is a web extension, and then we can just search. So. The name of the tool is called Insert Learn. You can search for that. It'll come up. So I have it installed already, so it doesn't give me the option to add to Chrome. But if you do not have this on your browser, it'll say this, add to Chrome. You just hit that, and then it will populate up here on, with your other Chrome extension, if you have any already. All right? It will probably ask you to make an account. I would suggest signing in through your school email so that it's all linked and can be easily linked with your Google Classroom, as this is a tool that works well with Google Classroom. So uh, where this takes place is you have it up here in your toolbar, and then also there is a website that links with your account. So insertlearning.com. When you log in through the account you create, I'll sign in with Google, there will be a list of your lessons you've created using this tool. Okay. So once you have the extension installed, what you do next is you find a way to integrate this tool with some sort of reading assignment. This is mostly a literacy-based tool, and it's really great because what this does is it helps you integrate a question and answer system in with any uh, text-based format on the internet. So any web page, any Google document you want to use and you'd like to insert questions and answers into that you can use the whole class, you can use Insert Learn to do that. So Say we found an article we wanted students to read, right? Uh, I wanted students to read an article on Newzella about Helen Keller, and I'd like them to follow a literacy protocol with this article. Insert Learn is really great for doing that. So how I'd get started on this, I'd go to my toolbar and I'd just click on the Insert Learn uh, icon. And then what it'll do is it'll load this toolbar on the left side here, and it gives me different options, so it'll say, Assign, highlight text, insert a sticky note, insert a question, insert a discussion, or more options. So what I can do is I can add questions straight into the text for students to interact with as they read. So say I wanted to ask a question after the first paragraph here. I could just wanted to ask a simple comprehension question. I could say I would highlight the area I want to ask a question about. Now we hit over here where it says insert a question. Okay, so first I have to hit insert a question, right? And then I click the paragraph I'd like to ask a question about. And then it gives you a few options for selecting a STEM. So you can, they have different literacy-based questions in here you can choose from, explain how you know the purpose of the text, right? Paraphrase the previous sentence, was a keyword, summarize the above text, identify the main idea, right? They give you a lot of literacy-based STEMs here you can work with, or you can simply, type in your own question. So if I wanted to say, um, what did Helen's father do during the Civil War? Right. And I can hit create, and it would create a question straight in this text that students could see. Okay, so that's one option, creating a question. And there's also, um, options to add if I wanted to. So let me go edit here to add right using these templates if I want to, or if I wanted to, um, you know, add multiple questions, I could go in and just insert another question. Okay. Uh, other options it gives me are to create a discussion. So say I got to the end of this and I want students to have a discussion with each other about the article in general. Um, I want to ask an open-ended discussion question. So I hit over here, I insert a discussion, and then I would click on the area I want students to discuss. And I could say, you know, maybe I could say, what examples would we take from Helen's life that was full in our lives? and I could create a discussion. And how this works, this is, students can actually interact with each other and see each other's posts on here. So if a student wrote in, I think, you know, we could learn from Helen's bravery, another student could, they would hit post, 
and another student could reply to that and interact with that comment and, and vice versa. So it's kind of a built-in discussion tool. And you can add those wherever you want in the text. They don't just have to be at the end, they could be in the beginning, they could be anywhere you like. So you have an option for inserting questions, inserting discussions. Also, if you want students to take note of a particular part of the text, you can insert a sticky note, right? And I could type in like, you know, pay attention to this fact or this detail if I want to. I also have the option to insert a video recording of myself saying something into the text. So if I wanted to explain something that's going on in the text or talk about it, I could do that also. Um, it also gives me the option to highlight. So if I want to bring students' attention to a certain part of the text, I could highlight and I could also delete that, right, if I want to do that. So there are, I can, if I would just want to get rid of the highlight, I just have to highlight again and delete, okay? Then I will, when I'm finished adding whatever questions, highlights, whatever I'd like to add to the text, I would then hit the insert learn button here where it says assign. And it would give me the option if I've connected with my Google Classroom, right, to assign to my Google Classroom here. So I'm gonna put, shh, I'm gonna hit this icon. I'm not gonna hit my classes. I'm gonna hit this icon where it says share to Google Classroom. And I will choose my school account. And then it'll give me the option to select my classes from my Google Classroom list. So if I wanted to share this to my US history classes, right, I would simply select these and hit share to those classes. I could add instructions, whatever else I'd like to add, okay? But I'm not going to do that right now. So another interesting part of this is say, you know, you just wanted, you didn't want to necessarily ask questions to the students, but you wanted to give them a literacy protocol to follow, maybe where they, you know, add their own notes or highlight different parts or give their their summary or their feedback or something. You could, if you wanted to, insert a sticky note at the top and give instructions to students on what you want them to do, right? You could say highlight, you know, certain keywords or certain phrases, highlight the main ideas, summarize with a sticky note at the end. Whatever you'd like students to do, you can use that to add to their um, to their instructions okay and then when you're done right you just go ahead and you'd hit up here to assign like i showed you all right the if you're going through and you want to take a look at you know what it looks like so far you can go to view as a student and it'll give it to you in student view so it'll show you oh look there's the question and there's my next question down, or my discussion question at the end, right? And you could type in and be able to post like you were a student, right? And it gives you the date and the name of the person who posted it. And it also shows you the toolbar the students get. So the students get all the, don't get all the options you have. They get highlighting, inserting sticky notes, and that's about it, okay? So if I want to get out of student view, um, I just hit resume teacher view up here. And then one other thing I want to show you is to go see your lessons, right? When you're in this, have this taskbar open, you can hit go to dashboard. And it will open up if you sign in with your Google account. It will open up the assignments you've done so far. Okay, so uh, we last week we did a Treaty of Versailles assignment where I used a website about the Great War and I inserted questions into it, right? So... Right here, you can see the questions the students had to answer. Now, as a teacher, if I want to see what my students said, I would click on the bottom here where it says view all responses, and it gives me the name of the student and what they gave for their answer. And I could hit score here, give them a score if I wanted to, or I could just use this to do feedback in whatever way I want, right? So for every question I asked, hit view responses and see the answers, okay? Pretty simple on that end. So again, to get to that view, though, of my lessons when I'm in the in the Insert Learn tool in Chrome, I can hit go to Dashboard and it will open that up, or I could go to insertlearning.com and log in using my school account, right? And it would show me all the lessons I've done before and I could open those up, right? So there is a paid and a free version of this app. So the paid version, 
like gives you unlimited access and the free version only lets you have a certain amount of lessons in this queue at a time so what you'd have to do once you're that limit is you just go in and you could delete the lesson and then it'll let you add more if you don't want to pay for the tool but usually what i'll do is i'll assign a couple lessons at a time i'll grade them i'll delete them and add some more that way i can keep adding more lessons without having to pay and it's a pretty good tool with just the free version here okay so again, this is a really great tool because it can work on any website you want to, to add questions, add assignments, add a literacy protocol if you like. And it allows all the students to type in answers. And there's a discussion piece where they can all work with each other. So it gives you some, some interactive learning while letting students work at their own pace, right? Now, the students can do this at different times of the day. They don't all have to be on it at the same time. And you'll still get a thread with the answers where you can see what each student types during any time. All right. Any questions about this, feel free to shoot me an email. Let me know what you think. All right, have a great day, everyone. The only real problem I have with Insert Learn Ever with students is that when you do do the assignment and you add it through Google Classroom, when they click on that link, if they don't have this uh, extension installed on their Chromebook through their account, they're going to be prompted to add that extension, which if we're not all in class together, it can be complicated. And most of my students have uh, this extension installed, installed already on their accounts through their Chromebook, so it's not really a big deal for me. But doing this you know, remotely might be difficult for them, uh, just if they've never added an extension before. Although if they click on the assignment, it will immediately prompt them to add the extension. And it will, as soon as they've added it, it will reload the page with the extension added so they can interact with the assignment. But that, that is the one complication with this tool, especially since we're not meeting face-to-face -face, where you might need to explain that in more detail to a student on how that would look when they're adding the extension and what they might need to do. They, they might need to be walked through those steps more closely and that might be difficult in a remote setting.